Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share, and this video will cover something that's called least square regression line, which is also a very frequently come out concept in the AP statistics exam. So yeah, you must remember that least square regression line, or shortened as LSRL, is same as the line of best fit, mm -hmm. but it is not same as something that's called goodness of fit. Okay, so it's same as the line of best fit, but it's not same as the goodness of fit. Yeah, and also the least square regression line or LSRL is the straight line that describes how a response variable changes as an explanatory variable x changes and always passes through x, y, or actually the mean x and mean y. So this is also very important, and it's you can just like like understand, right? So it's it describes how like y changes as the x changes. And this is also important to remember that it is only valid among the given minimum and maximum range. So it means that you cannot like generalize the relationship or you cannot generalize the interpretation of your LSRL model to a range or to a like a to an interval that is outside of the given range of, of the question. Also, this is what what your LSRL um equations will look like so we have y hat equals to a x plus b where a is the slope and b is the y intercept and over here this is how we're going to compute the values for the slope and y intercept and this is very very important to also remember a equals r which is the correlation so you guys can check the video that i have made for this correlation r if you don't know what this is and you will uh you will multiply that to the standard deviation y over standard deviation of x. And over here, the y-intercept will be equal to y average minus a, which is the slope, and then times x average. And then we're going to look at how we're going to interpret the results. So let's say that there is a question where you have this model, y hat equals 7.07x plus 73. So this means the slope, and this is the um, y interest depth. And the x over here is like the time that you spend studied, or the time the students spend studying for the exam, and y equals like the score that they have received. Okay, let's say this is like given in the question. And if the question asks you to interpret the slope of 7.07, you're going to say that, say like this, 7.07 means that the test scores increases by 7.07 points as the amount of time increases by one hour. Mm -hmm. And for the y interest, you're going to say 73 means that when a student studies zero hour, or this means that when you put x equals 0 over here, you're going to have 73, right? So it's the um, test score that she or he will get when she or he spends 0 hours studying. They will have 73 points earned as their score. And um, you and also, you need to know like how good is our LSRL model. And for you to find out how good, like how like well designed it is, you need to know the coefficient of determination, which is R squared, and also the residual plot. So I will be making another video about this. Yeah, so this is the end of this video for a short, brief introduction of the LSRL. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.